Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience and wisdom from thousands of successful individuals from around the world. I am your host Ashutosh Garg and today I am delighted to welcome a very senior professional from the social sector Mr B Gopalakrishnan. B ji welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh Mr Gopalakrishnan is the head of Samunnati Startup Initiatives uh which is a part of the Samunnati Foundation. So Viji before we get into Samunnati can you please tell me a little bit about your own journey and what took you to the social sector? Yeah. Uh, good morning uh, thank you Ashutosh uh, for the opportunity. So let me uh, introduce my name is Biko Balakrishnan people call me Viji. So uh, I started my career in uh, uh, 1985 in corporates uh, i worked for icl for a long time almost about uh, 28 years in various roles and uh, in the last stint uh, from 2008 to 2016 i got the opportunity to incubate a company within hcl hcl learning uh, limited uh, then uh, 2016 onwards i started working only for uh, startups and uh, startup incubators so last uh, stint was with uh, desh pandey uh, startups at the hubli karnataka where uh, the energy was multiplied uh, because uh, i started working with a lot of startups in various segmentation uh, then onwards i started working for uh, the social sector so i am mm-hmm. alumni from uh, tyaraja college of engineering did my masters um, so 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 the one core uh, uh, reason behind uh, the social is uh, if there is a energy which we can transform to multiple uh, factors um we can we can definitely give it in the social so that is a purpose uh, so let's that. talk a little bit about samunnati yeah. tell me about the organization and the work you are doing uh i'm i'm part of uh, the samunnati foundation um samunnati has got uh, two entities primarily on uh, uh, one is called uh, samunnati financial intermediation uh, limited another one is called uh, samunnati agro agriculture um, services mm-hmm. um, and uh, samanadi foundation is a, is a part of uh, samanadi uh, group and where we work with uh, uh, the ecosystem like uh, fpos farmers producers organization and we have a fellowship program we have a samaram we have community kitchen we have also have a center of excellence there are two center of excellence which is available in uh, india mm-hmm. okay and the what are the work you are doing at uh, the foundation i work with the startup uh, ashutosh primarily i work with the startups uh, agri tech uh, startups so samaram is our platform where uh, we connect with uh, uh, various incubators across the country for example we have been working with uh, desh pandey startups we have been working with uh, uh, manage hyderabad we have been working with uh, uh, rich hyderabad so so all these incubators uh, whenever they need uh, some amount of uh, access to market or access to mentors or access to uh, money that is primarily on uh, any kind of investment we work along with them and uh, we ensure that there is a capacity building which is being developed in the ecosystem through our intervention uh, through uh, our uh, foundation initiatives on Uh, startup initiatives so can you give me some examples of some of the investments you have made in the area of agri tech so so majorly if you see uh, access to finance there are three kind of uh, things which we do one is a debt so most of the companies because uh, some of the companies are grown today so it is not good to mention them in the call um so so first and foremost to be we tell them these are all the uh, options which is available either through ocd or uh, ncd um, uh, ccd we we tell them these are all the options which is available and uh, and and the, the 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 finance is being given as a one of the instrument so so uh, whenever uh, they look for uh, 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 these options we we give it to them ashutosh so these are all the companies are really grown today uh, no i'm companies. not asking you for any names uh, bg i have not have no interest in names of companies i'm just saying what are yeah. the areas no we we work with uh, the entire value chain of uh, agri tech companies for example there are some input company there are some output company there are some 
uh, very large uh, no sir process. i understand i understand that but our viewers and listeners don't know anything about samunnati so okay. could you just say that you know in what sectors you are in i mean you know i would request you to please at least talk about the sectors i don't want names names of promoters how much money that's irrelevant okay so so we are in the agri tech uh, uh, entire value chain in in the agriculture uh, majorly uh, there are food tech there are uh, uh, agri tech companies for example there are companies they are working on the soil fertility side for example soil testing as a, as a large company mm-hmm. uh, there are companies they are working in the entire value chain from the uh, produce to the uh, plate for example we call it as a palm to plate um, taking the entire service there are companies they are working into the uh, for example you take uh, companies like swiggy we you take companies like uh, zomato so the entire value chain from the palm to plate uh we work uh, along with the company sector and uh when you talk agri tech what are some of the challenges there are a lot of entrepreneurs face in the area of agriculture that you are supporting uh, and helping the country solve so so most of the time if you see uh, entrepreneurs come in uh, different stages because they from the stage 1 to uh, stage 5 we call it as because for example from the problem to the idea to the Uh, product to the market to the business so there are there are about five different stages they they evolve so each stage there are some amount of hand holding which is required for example um, the founder development is one of the key aspect of uh, the entire development so we give them uh, very specific about uh, mentor connect domain mentors in the agriculture because uh, we are a pool of uh, uh, 700 plus uh, employees are there so if if there is any specific requirement with respect to aquaculture or if you talk about horticulture or you talk about uh, uh, the large scale uh, uh, core uh, agriculture we have lot of people uh, in and around the ecosystem so we connect them so that is the first intervention second intervention is uh, with respect to the market connect because most of the time uh, if the product is ready it needs to be curated mm-hmm. so we help them with respect to the curating that uh, product then taking for a pilot so during that pilot if there is uh, some amount of uh, capex which is required for that product which has to service that uh, market we also help them and and uh, uh, either either with a fpo or with agri enterprises so they have to give the product so we we have a large pool of uh, fpos which is available so these fpos that farmers producers organization they consume this product and they validate the product so that is a second intervention called market access and uh, of course as as a part of that entire uh, support they also need interventions with respect to finance either it can be a debt or it can be a investment or it can be a some amount of uh, short term credit so we support them in the entire uh, transition budget uh, okay and uh... when you are looking for uh, you know making an investment what are some of the factors you consider before making an investment no especially if you see uh, there are three things which we look at whether what is the novelty of the idea because because that is one of the core which is which is required in any kind of entity okay whether whether the idea is novel uh, that is a first point second the team composition because whether they have the vertical knowledge uh which is available with the founders and the co-founders because uh, horizontal knowledge will be available with all the people but the vertical knowledge is very important and the third one which we look at uh, very clearly is uh, whether uh, they have the agility to solve a large problem because uh, most of the time uh, a problem which has been specified for uh, uh, you may not be the problem for me so we look for a larger problem and the ltv we call it as a lifetime value of the product if the lifetime value of the product is very good i think it is a good uh, entity to invest uh, in the in the portfolio okay so and when you talk about uh, you know the founders and the team should the startup have a co-founder or would you prefer someone going solo um because because this is a very very uh, important uh, point most of the time we look for uh, a, a, a co-founder and a team only maybe you can say that okay co-founder or or employee but uh, uh, 
uh, when you wanted to bounce back uh, a problem or a solution you need a couple of people in your team so mm -hmm. always we look for a, uh, a co-founder or a couple of people at the initial level of uh, the start of the company mm -hmm. so that uh, it will be always uh, good to have diverse uh, view from the team because mm -hmm. your view will be uh, a solo view so always it is better to have a couple of people they are starting editing and they are solving the problem but uh, today i think i think the, the the founders are matured they are they are going with the two or three people in the initial level and mm -hmm. taking the product to the next level of uh, to the market okay and based on all your experience what in your opinion are the most important qualities a startup entrepreneur should have um so, so, so one is uh, I, I can say that the frugality is one of the core uh, requirement, assertiveness, and uh, and and uh, uh, the the first one which we call it as the integrity because because um, uh, you you need to have uh, uh, the integrity in your uh, in your in your uh, point, and uh, thereby you have a passion and the purpose in which you are starting a company, thereby. There, there is a very clear uh, uh, vision which has been made for the company. So, so, so if you look at the the the, the, the component of uh, the founders, we always look for a passion. We look for a purpose in which we started. Because, for example, somebody will say that um, I wanted to support the farmers, but if you look at the entire uh, chain of activity, they are not connected to the farmer. But uh, uh, there, I feel that the purpose is very very important to. Uh, to for the organization mm, okay and uh, it is believed that one only one out of 10 startups really make it yeah what in your view are the reasons a lot of startup entrepreneurs don't make it um to me i feel that, that there are three stages of a company which fail because most of the time uh, they fail because of uh, the product and the market fit which is not available for example um, i have a law i have a product but the market is not consuming that is the mm. first point of uh, failure the second point of failure is the problem itself is not there mm -hmm. that, that is but actually you are looking at a problem but the the problem itself is uh, not existing in the, in the in the entire uh, value chain mm. the third point which is available is the product is outdated or 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 uh, uh, it, it is also one among the uh, other product. It is mm -hmm. not having a differentiator or it is not having a value proposition. So around the 65% of the failures which is coming on, on this one only because whenever you are looking for a large scale failure, 65% of the failure which is coming on uh, this and the rest of the failures are you are not able to having a team, you are not able to having a people skills which need to have uh, a large amount of uh, team members to be uh, part of this entire initiative other than uh, raising money is the last uh, failure point for a startup hmm. and uh, it is often asked that you know when should a startup raise money and uh, it's always debated some people say take money whenever you can get it some people say bootstrap as long as possible what are your thoughts so if you see, there are three kind of instrument which is available for a startup to raise money. Uh, rather four, I will say. Mm. Uh, grand, seed, debt, and IPO are the different instruments for the founders. Mm. And uh, always the investor is looking for a maturity level of uh, the, the uh, uh, entrepreneur or the founder or the product or uh, the entity. Mm. So if your, if your idea is very novel and your opportunity to raise the uh, funds, at the initial level will be very very high uh, most of the time uh, people look for a proof of value proof of uh, uh, product market fit in two stages mm -hmm. if you are able to prove uh, proof of value at the first stage then you will get the pre seed and uh, if you if you definitely make sure that uh, there is a product market fit you are able to uh, and you are able to scale in a non linear way I think definitely you'll get the funds at the initial level and uh, the mid level and uh, at the product market fit level. Mm. There is also a, a lot of discussion on the word pivot for startups. Right. Um, I would love to get your perspective on, you know, 
based on the area that you are in, in agri-tech startups, yeah. how does Pivot support or help uh, a founder? So this is a, this is also one of the good questions because I started a product and I feel that uh, it is not taking uh, more attraction or more uh, interest within the community. It is better to look at some of the adjacency and uh, a small pivot will also give a deep uh, lifetime value uh, for many of the startups. So I had seen companies, they are starting as a drone company in the initial level. That is three years before they found that, okay, there is a lot of uh, uh, requirement with respect to inputs like uh, pesticides, uh, like um, seed or in terms of advisory. And they establish, and as a component, they are able to give a large service to a company. Mm -hmm. So I think pivot at the right time is also good for a founder. Okay. The other question that is there, which is often asked from startups, is when should they start to scale up? Actually, if you see, uh, always about, uh, we, we always uh, look for a proof. For example, uh, initial level, we look for a proof of problem, proof of value, proof of, proof of product. Mm -hmm. uh, the scaling up which comes on the proof of business. For example, there is a product and there is a market which has been, uh, uh, there is a fit which is available. For example, my product has been consumed out of uh, 3 out of 10 customers, uh, 4 out of 10 customers. There is a lot of traction which is happening. I am going for a mass uh, scale uh, production, then it is a right time to scale in democrat uh, democratically. For example, within India, I wanted to go. I wanted to go. I am going very clearly. I wanted to go for some of the uh, countries. I wanted to scale. Then I can scale. I think the product market fit uh, is 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 one of the crucial component for a startup to look for and scale their operations nationally and internationally. Okay, so I have time for two more questions. Um, let me come back to Samunnati. Um, are you only focused on agri-tech or do you look at other areas as well? No, no, we, we are very focused on agri-tech. Because if you see, uh, making the market work for the smallholder farmer is, is the theme of uh, Samunnati. For example, um, the, the, the smallholder farmer, anything which you do, if there is a small benefit which goes to a farmer, uh, that is what we look. We work only with the agri-tech and the food-tech companies. Okay. And my last question to you, uh, based on all your vast experience working with startups, what would you say are three lessons you would want our viewers and listeners to take away from our conversation? So uh, there are there are three things which I always uh, tell uh, the startups because with my working experience with some something close to 300 plus founders. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, you need to be, uh, there should not be any kind of conflict within the founders because most of the time, uh, they have uh, some amount of non-collaborative uh, things like win-win approach, which is also creating a lot of problems for the founders. That is point number one. The second is they are not having a, a lot of vertical knowledge. Because most of the time they are having horizontal knowledge. They are I'm sorry, could you just repeat the second one again? Vertical knowledge. We Vertical. call it as, for okay. example, I'm yeah. going with a domain, one domain. You need to have the vertical knowledge, which is very, very important. And uh, and uh, the third one, most of the time they are they are uh, they are going for a product where the problem itself is not existing. You should not be more emotional towards the thing which I started. For example, you ask one question, what time I would pivot it? Suppose, assume that there are some areas which I can pivot and make the establishment of my product or services and it should be open. So, no emotions attached to one particular product or services. Mm, very interesting. And on that note and your three lessons that there should not be any conflict in founders, uh, vertical knowledge is critical and don't go for a product where the problem does not exist. Uh, thank you, VG, for speaking to me. Thank you for talking to me about Samunnati. Thank you for also sharing with me so many different uh, aspects of uh, your thoughts on startups. Thank you again and good luck. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Akshat. Thanks a lot for uh, inviting me for this show because this is one of the global show. Thank you very much and I wish you all very best for the future uh, interviews. 
Thank you for listening to the brand called You video cast and podcast. A platform that brings you knowledge, experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for the brand called You.